Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We're going to show you today how to remove and replace all five hydraulic cylinders and the pump if necessary on a Mercedes um, R170 chassis SLK. The R170 chassis SLK is generally model used 1998 through 2004 with some variations in countries other than the US. The car has five cylinders that actuate and latch the top and the trunk lid and it also has the pump in the rear. We'll show you all the details of that. We'll show you every single step on how to remove and replace these components and um, hopefully you will be convinced just how easy it is and it is a job that you can tackle. It is not very expensive to get these parts from Top Hydraulics yet they come to you in uh, better than new condition at least on the inside. We can never make the outside look better than brand new but what's inside these parts is guaranteed better than brand new parts from Mercedes and uh, made to last for decades. Hope this helps. So let me show you the uh, five cylinders the way they're laid out in the car and the pump first and by the way we also have um, videos on manually opening and closing the top as well as troubleshooting uh, top problems on the SLK and um, the electrical system which is actually quite simple for the uh, convertible top on the SLK. So the cylinders in this car are the front lock cylinder that locks the uh, top at the windshield. It's located in the top panel just underneath in the middle. We have the uh, left and the right va vario roof main lift or top drive cylinders as Mercedes calls them, vario roof top drive cylinders. And we have the two trunk cylinders, left side and right side, that are located back here and that flip your trunk lid backwards while the top is operating. Um, all of these cylinders each have two hoses on them that are routed back to the pump. The pump is in the left rear of the trunk fairly easily accessible and um, the hoses all plug into these discs on top of the pump are easily disconnected but the hoses are an integral part of the cylinders and they should not be cut or removed from the cylinders. So we'll get into a little bit more detail in the next shot. So what can go wrong with these hydraulic components? Well the most important part is that uh, you will eventually have bad seals in the cylinders and in the pump. There are other things that can go wrong as well, but the seals are by far the most important failure in these components. Um, why do they fail? Well, the manufacturer has used materials for the seals that decay with time. Nothing lasts forever, but they didn't quite use the best material possible and uh, Top Hydraulics is changing that by putting in much longer lasting seals, uh, for example, made out of Viton. Viton has an almost um, unlimited shelf life. It is a, it is a fluorinated uh, elastomer that um, will not decay at least significantly with time, should be good for many, many decades. We actually make these parts better than new inside. Um, under similar circumstances, our seals will last uh, three to five times as long as the original ones and um, our seals are not sensitive to water from condensation in the system or to people having used stop leak. Using stop leak uh, additives in your hydraulic fluid creates a big problem in that it initially makes all the seals swell up a little bit but there's a reason why they're swelling up. Uh, the chemical um, composition of the seals gets changed and um, ultimately these seals get softer and softer and just fall apart. So let's talk about the individual seals in the cylinders first and then in the end we'll move on to what all could be going wrong in the pump. Um, we have here the uh, front lock cylinder. You see it's a pretty simple piece machined out of one solid block of aluminum. There are some holes drilled in there and originally the uh, factory uh, crimps the hose fittings into the side of the cylinder with a seal in there of course and Top Hydraulics actually removes those crimps. We put these cylinders into a CMC machine that machines around the original factory crimps 
take the hoses out, take the seal out, put in a much better port seal. That's what the swivel seal is called, where the hose goes in, and uh, ultimately we fasten it again with a laser cut stainless steel uh, clip that we manufacture. Um, so theoretically the hoses are removable after we have dealt with them, but you should never have to remove them again because our parts should be good for 30 to 50 years. Um, the most frequently failing or the first seal to fail in these cylinders typically is the rod seal. The rod seal is the one that the chrome shaft of the cylinder slides through as, it, as the cylinder retracts and uh, ex expands. That rod seal is a cup seal. Now cup seals are the shape of seal that you should have in here. You should never do o-rings because that's um, just the wrong application. Let me try to visualize that. Um, I have here a big piece of aluminum. We'll just imagine that this piece of aluminum was the cylinder shaft and we'll use my hand as the cup seal. So imagine the uh, fluid pressure is coming from this end. We have a cup seal that has lips, one lip um, at the um, cylinder rod that moves and one lip against the cylinder housing. So as there is pressure, the um, shaft of the cylinder will move and as there's pressure against the seal, the more pressure there is, the harder the seal presses against the shaft. Conversely, if you had an O-ring in here, let's assume my, my hand was an O-ring that gets compressed against this rod. As the rod is moving, the O-ring will try to twist and turn, and it may last temporarily, but it positively is not a good long-term fix. You really need to replace all seals on these cylinders because in the long run eventually they will fail. Even if the cup seal that we just talked about typically fails first, um, next you will have either the port seals leaking. Um, port seals are the swivel seals that go into the cylinder where the hoses attach. and um, Or you will have the piston seal failing. The piston divides the two chambers of the cylinder, so it's on this brass piston here. And of course the piston slides up and down the cylinder. Especially on the uh, top lock, front lock cylinder, um, if you had an internal bypass, meaning the piston seal wasn't sealing perfectly anymore, then that would slow your top down. The reason is the pump will always pressurize one side of the cylinder whenever the pump runs. And um, so that will always make the cylinder shaft retract by itself unless the cylinder also gets pressure on the bottom, then actually there will be a differential in force that make in, in the um, differential force in the cylinder that will make the shaft uh, extend. Anyway, um, a bypass on the piston seal will slow down your top. Eventually the port seals will leak it's not if, it's when they will leak. And what we do at Top Hydraulics is uh, the uh, ports that were originally crimped into these cylinders, we put the cylinders into a CNC machine, we machine around the original crimps, and we um, then pull out the hoses, replace the port seals with Viton that practically has an um, indefinite shelf life. And uh, then we refasten the hoses with uh, laser cut stainless steel clips. Um, there is also on the trunk cylinders on the bottom a uh, seal for the bottom plug. And note how we um, machine out the crimps on the cylinders originally for the hoses. We pull the hoses out and then we refasten the hoses with these um, CNC machined uh, caps. S the other thing that theoretically can go wrong on these cylinders is the hoses. Well, the 
Mercedes hoses are the highest quality automotive hoses around. These hoses will only fail if they get mistreated. Top Hydraulics offers core exchange where we can send you individual cylinders or the full set or the full set with a pump um, where you simply pay a deposit on top of the price and uh, you get the deposit back once we get um, rebuildable parts. So uh, lastly, let's talk about the pump a little bit. You see here the pump's reservoir. Uh, we have some clear fluid in it. This is a pump that has just been rebuilt by Top Hydraulics. Uh, the original fluid in here is clear, believe it or not. In your car, probably you see dark fluid. The fluid gets dark from decaying seals in the system and other parts uh, rubbing off, but uh, most of the dark color in the fluid is from suspended microparticles, which are mostly uh, seal remnants. It could also be material rubbed off the walls of the cylinders, but again, mostly it's um, the soft materials decaying and suspending in this uh, fluid. So um, here we have the minimum and maximum markers on the pump's reservoir. That's where the fluid level should be. Fluid level should be at maximum when the top is down and the uh, trunk lid is closed. And that'll automatically go down to close to minimum when the top is up and the uh, trunk lid is pulled back. What can go wrong in this pump? Well, there's a lot of things. Um, of course, there is the electric motor. There is an oil seal from the motor to the pump. Top Hydraulics, of course, makes better oil seals that hold up to more pressure, in particular to more back pressure from the reservoir. If people accidentally overfill the reservoir, they um, will put way too much uh, pressure on the oil seal. Uh, our seal uh, takes can take about double as much back pressure as the original ones. Of course there are further seals inside this pump and valves. We have the two solenoids on the bottom that direct the flow of the fluid to the uh, cylinders and uh, pressure relief valve and um, of course there's the piston assembly um, the, this pump is a piston pump, so we have a rotating piston assembly and uh, pistons will wear out top hydraulics. Uh, make sure that all pistons are within spec and that the pump actually ships to you with performing better than a brand new one would from Mercedes. We are certain that we make these uh, parts better inside than new ones. Um, there's also a pressure um, regulator in this pump of course which needs to be up to par and um, various minor parts that I haven't mentioned yet. In any case I hope this gives you a good overview of what all could go wrong in these cars in these hydraulic systems in the seals in these cylinders are made such that they typically last about 15 years. If you live in a high, hot climate, the seals will decay faster. And um, if you live in a cool climate, they could last a little bit longer. So on average, the life expectancy of these cylinders is about 15, cylind 15 years, um, where it, if, if you were in a hot climate, such as Florida or Texas or United Arab Emirates, you um, can easily have these systems failing after eight years. Also, what will make the systems fail sooner is you have, if you have your, the wrong fluid in your system. If you have um, stop leak additives, they will make they will soften seals, initially make them swell up, but then they fall apart quickly. They also do a number on the pump itself. The worst thing you can do is put in brake fluid because brake fluid and hydraulic fluid will uh, clump up together and um, are not compatible. They will form crystals that will um, not only ruin all the seals in the system but also um, ruin the solenoids on the pump. Enough said. I believe we have you convinced that you'd better do this right and we'll now get to show you how to remove and replace all these components in the car.